Let's start a new project from scratch. Let's start with include IO stream. And then we are going to use our namespace using namespace standard. Again, that just saves us a little bit of typing. And then the int main. And this is all stuff we've been using. And what we're going to put is we're going to go ahead and ask a question that we want an answer to. And we're going to answer, we're going to check the question's answer to see if it's correct. Okay. So let's see if we can put this together. We're going to see out, uh, let's ask a math question. What is 2 plus 2? And we're going to take in their answer. Uh, user number. Okay, we named it something. Uh, it's going to bug out because I haven't declared that user number is a thing. So I'm going to go up to the top, right, in main and say, declare an int user number. All right. The next thing you're going to see, it's bugging out because I have C in, but then I use the same arrows that I used for C out. Remember that these go backwards. Building this out, we need to actually check to see if they did it right. And to do that, we're going to use an if statement. An if statement allows us to check a condition that we put in parentheses. And what our condition is going to be is user number and what, whether it's equal to four. We're gonna use equals equals, and that's meant to ask, is it equal to, not saying it is equal to, but ask the question. So when we do two equals, it's trying to compare these two things. So it says, is the user number equal to four? And if it is true that the user number is four, then we wanna see out something that says like correct answer. And so we're actually checking to see if they answered it right. And let's go ahead and build it and see what we think. And as we look at this, we're going to remember one of the biggest mistakes I see is I see that people forget to do two equals. And so if you run through this and no matter what you answer, it gives you the same result. It's probably because you only have one equals. What is 2 plus 2? I'm going to put 4. And it says correct answer, press any key, continue. Uh, so this time I'm going to do 5. And it didn't tell me anything, so it didn't tell me it was correct. So that's, that's good. The other thing we could do for this program, other than saying equal to 4, is we can actually declare our correct answer. When we declare our correct answer, we're actually going to say the correct answer is equal to 4. Notice that when we did equals here, we only used one equals. Because we aren't comparing these and asking the question, is it equal? We're saying, yes, the correct answer is equal to 4. So now when the computer reads this, it knows that the correct answer equals 4. So instead of typing, does it equal 4, we can say, does it equal the correct answer? Most of the time to this point, we've used variables but we've always assigned them a value based on what's typed in the keyboard but we can assign a value just by typing in equals and give it the value this works for integers it works for strings and so what we did here was just assigned it four so now when we run it it's checking does the user number equal the correct answer